well. Hi, everyone. Welcome to 5 Minute Fusion, a Who's That Anime podcast where Colin and myself, Steve, will take the journey through episodes of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, and beyond. We're going to do them all in a quick five minute summary as best we can. Colin, are you ready to continue this journey with me? Oops. Looked like I stopped too soon. Hopefully not too soon, because we're going to give a brief synopsis of today's episode. Episode 108, Goku's Revenge. As Roshi follows a Dragon Ball in motion, Goku begins his fight with Tambourine, immediately overwhelming him. Tambourine fires an incinerating beam at Goku, but he evades it and kills him with a Kameha wave in mid-air. Sensing Tambourine's death... King Piccolo decides to deal with Goku himself. Roshi and Tien find a fourth Dragon Ball in a cave, tangled with crows. King Piccolo decides to wait for all the Dragon Balls to be gathered as he gets closer to Goku's location. Colin, what did you like about that episode? Tambourine's face. <laughs> Tambourine's face? Yeah, when, when he's like getting beaten up by Goku. It's like, it's just sort of big bulging <laughs> eyes. Kind of like... That's quality face. I, I, I did know. Uh, I have a quote here that says, "Unsuccessful. I'm a fire in my laser." <laughs> I'm assuming that was when Tambourine tried to fire and missed. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm a fire in my laser. I'm a fire in my laser. Like I just had that in my head as soon as it started. Um, when Goku kills Tambourine, he gives him the peace sign. Yeah, you got your help. Your winning taunts. He's dead. <laughs> He's not there to like be like, oh man, <laughs> I lost. No, nope, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm super dead. They like putting the peace sign in this. That's that's two people put peace signs in, man. Who's the other one? Uh, Roshi. No, it was um, symbol. He was doing his like happy dance. Oh yeah. And he did the peace sign. Yeah, forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Well. Uh, I did note as well that uh, during that scene in the cave, they were just punching all the crows out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, was like... <laughs> which was hilarious. <laughs> the crows took the, the ball and they were like, oh. It's like, is there going to be a big crow man that's going to come chase them out? But no, it's a bunch of crows. <laughs> and it was just, <laughs> just <laughs> punching them out there. Yeah. Reminded me of that uh, Homer Simpson bit in the, the Simpsons episode where he goes back to the past and he's like, don't touch anything. I'll touch whatever I want and punches a dragonfly out of the air and just stands on it to death. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was immediately what came to mind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what didn't you like about this episode? Uh, the crow chase. <laughs> well, what was not to like about the crow chase? I don't like the fact that they were punching these birds. And all the birds were like... <laughs> had red eyes man like they're going to like murderously kill them i mean that that's probably a reason for a punching right yeah but i didn't really like the chase it's like stupid <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh these these martial artists who can like defeat people with ease are, are run away from these birds <laughs> yeah i uh i didn't like piccolo's grunting the less said about it the better it's just quite constant uh. um what uh, what do we now know, Colin? Uh, Yashirobe isn't going to eat tambourine because Goku vaporized him and he's very upset. Oh, that's right, he did. Yep. He did destroy <laughs> his food. Yeah. Um, and he laughs about it. He's like, "You're right. I did kill that guy too hard." Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, uh, I've. I've <laughs> Take note here, it's like the plane that they're in says Pilaf on the side of it. Like, how have I never noticed this until now? I don't know. It just for some reason really stood out to me this one. I was like, oh my god, that's great. Yeah, yeah, it has Pilaf on it. It's uh, been saying that for the last few episodes. I've I've realized I now know that I still don't know how the dragon radar works properly. It's magic. Like, they just hold it up and go bleep, 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 and it's just one button. And sometimes it'll zoom, sometimes it'll like pan, sometimes it will turn on and off. And I don't think that they're like, it's almost like the grenade pen that you click three times to activate and once to deactivate. <laughs> yeah. This is very confusing. Well, you just click it, it's just going through the motions, man. It's like um, your video game, like, uh, minimap thing. You got like buttons yeah, to click I, through it. I guess so. It's just like that. 
Yeah. Oh, we've hit time up for today. We will be back next time to talk about more Dragon Ball. So until then, it's a goodbye from me. Ah, uh, goodbye from me. Bye, folks. Bye. I'm the Dragon Balls. Look out for them all.